We're going from zero to 60 with Raya and the Last Dragon. So let's get cracking. Hello all my explorers and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My name is Lauren and I'm with Castles, Capes and Clones where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. We talk Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, The Muppets, 20th Century, ABC, Hulu, Disney Plus. So if it's about Disney, we are talking about it. So we would love it. If you would subscribe to our channel, if you aren't already, hit the bell for notifications and do like this post as it really does help us out. Okay, so we are continuing our series from 0 to 60, our look at the films of Walt Disney Animation Studios in chronological order. We started with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and we are making our way all the way to Encanto, the 60th film. And today, we are talking about 2021's Raya and the Last Dragon. Taking place in the fictional Southeast Asian country of Kumandra, the dragon gem that has kept evil spirits known as the Drone away has shattered in an attempt to steal it for power by the neighboring peoples. Darkness reigned upon the land, and Raya, the Princess of the Heart People, must find Sisu, the last dragon, who she hopes can help restore the dragon gem and rescue her father and the people of Kumandra. In 2018, Deadline Hollywood reported that Disney was working on a mysterious secret animated project. While details were not forthcoming, the casting call suggested it would feature a cast of Asian descent. Then, at the 2019 D23 Expo, Disney announced that it would be doing a Southeast Asian-inspired film called Ryan the Last Dragon. At that time, Filipina-American actress Cassie Steele was tied to the role of Raya. By August 2020, veteran director Don Hall was made director and joined by Mexican-American Academy Award-nominated filmmaker Carlos Lopez Estrada as co-director. The screenplay was written by Ki Win and Adele Lim, both of whom also wrote the story with Hall, Estrada, Paul Briggs, John Rippa, Kiel Murray, and Dean Wellens, and based on a story by Bradley Raymond and additional story contributions by Helen Kalafadek. Also, Kelly Marie Tran replaced Steele as Raya. Tran was chosen because she could be both lighthearted and tough at the same time. But she was initially wary of the crew because she had originally auditioned and was rejected. On top of that, she was taking a job from a fellow Asian American female actor. The cast was made up of Asian American actors, including Aquafina as Sisu, Isaac Wang as Boat Captain Boone, Gemma Chan, Raya's nemesis, Namari, Daniel Day Kim as Raya's father, Chief Benja, Benedict Wan as Warrior Tong, Sandra O oh as Namari's mother, Chiefess Virana, Talia Tran as Little Noi, and Lucille Song as Chiefess Dang. And no Disney animated film would be without Alan Tudyk, who voiced Raya's trusty sidekick, Tuk Tuk. Kumandra is inspired by the Southeast Asian cultures of Brunei, Singapore, Laos, Thailand, Timor-Leste, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Filmmakers traveled to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Laos 
to do research for the film and put together the Southeast Asia Story Trust to ensure accuracy and respect for the cultures. Thai artist Fawn Virasunthorn served as the head of story for the film. James Newton Howard provided the score, this being his fourth collaboration with Disney Animation. Gene Aiko wrote and performed a song, Lead the Way, for the end credits. Production for Ryan the Last Dragon took place amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. To ensure the safety of the cast and crew, all the work was done from home, communicating primarily through Zoom. In addition, the film's uh, release date was pushed back from November 2020 to March 12, 2021. Since audiences were still wary of returning to the theaters amidst the pandemic, the film was released both in theaters and by Disney Plus Premium Access, where subscribers could pay an extra fee to watch the film from home. The film would then be released to all subscribers of Disney Plus for free in June 2021. In the box office, the film only made $130 million worldwide. It failed to initially beat The Crudes, A New Age, and Tom and Jerry, but box office eventually improved and it ended up surpassing Tom and Jerry on Disney+. Plus. The film came in third most watched title of 2021 behind Pixar's Luca and Disney's Moana. Critically, the film scored 94% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes with critical consensus saying, Another gorgeously animated, skillfully voiced entry in the Disney canon. Raya and the Last Dragon continues the studio's increased representation while reaffirming that its classic formula is just as reliable as ever. Raya and the Last Dragon was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, but unsurprisingly lost to another Disney entry. Encanto. So what did I think of Raya and the Last Dragon? I really enjoy it. I obviously am Asian and I love stories about Asia and I like the fact that it was Southeast Asian which does include the Philippines and I am Filipino American and I know that Kumandra was based somewhat on the Philippines as well as several other Southeast Asian countries. And, you know, again, representation is so important to me. So that is the big reason why I enjoyed this film. I love Tuck Tuck. Uh, I think that he's such a adorable character. One of my favorite sidekicks for sure. Raya, I think, is a great character. And Kelly Marie Tran, I love the fact that she was able to come back with this strong Asian character after having received so much hate from being in the Star Wars films, the Star Wars sequel films. And I think that that was such a great uh, thing for her. And I just thought, I thought the cast was amazing. I would have loved for the cast to have been mostly Southeast Asian. Kelly Marie Tran, I know is, but I think a lot of the other actors are from other Asian descent. And, which is fine. I, mean, I would prefer that over, you know, getting white actors or, you know, some other actors to play those roles. So in terms of representation, I think it was a step up from Mulan. Mulan is though my favorite. Uh, so, but still, I think that they did much more to capture the feel of Southeast Asia in these films. And yeah, I really enjoyed the film. You know, I wouldn't say it's necessarily my favorite film, but I do love it. I love Sisu. I love Aquafina. I just think is so funny, and um, yeah, I just I, I do like this film quite a bit. Um, you know, again, not my favorite film, but not 
definitely not on the bottom. Um, anyway, did you watch Ryan the Last Dragon? What did you think of the film? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed yourself today, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post as it really does help us out. Visit us on all of our socials down below. Visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you later. Bye!